All right, let's take a look at uh, question number 11. So we have to sketch the graph of the function that meets the following conditions. The limit as x approaches infinity of the function is 3. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right of the function is negative 1. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function is 1. The limit as x approaches negative 2 of the function is negative 1. f of negative 2 is equal to 2. And the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of the function is infinity. All right, so we're basically going to use this information to sketch a graph. Um, there isn't any particular one unique right answer for this problem. There are different uh, renditions, but at the um, points where your x is approaching or at the um, points where x goes to infinity or negative infinity, the, the various, um, the different variations of the solution must look identical, okay? So let's go ahead and sketch one of the possible solutions to this graph. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to draw a coordinate system, our um, y-axis and our x-axis. First thing I like to draw um, are my horizontal asymptotes, okay? So you know your horizontal asymptotes basically represent the behavior of the function at plus or minus infinity. So there goes my y-axis, my x-axis. We know that <clears throat> at the right end is infinity and at the left end is negative infinity, okay? Now, at x equals infinity, we, the function approaches three and as x approaches negative infinity, the function approaches one. So what does this mean? It basically means that um, we have two distinct um, horizontal asymptotes, okay? Two different horizontal asymptotes. The horizontal asymptotes to the right, asymptote to the right is different from that to the left, okay? All right, before I graph my horizontal asymptotes, I'm going to also, um, I've taken care of my infinities. And I don't want to cancel that. Okay, so my infinities have been graphed. I graph my positive and negative. Now I want to graph um, negative two Negative 2, just x equals negative 2 is a vertical line through negative 2. So let's calibrate our coordinate system. So let me call this um, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And then let's call that 1. So we have x approaching negative 2. So we have something happening around here. So we just draw our line x equals negative 2. Um, and then also we have x approaching one from both sides. So we have to graph one also. X equals one is also a vertical line through one on the x-axis. Okay, and then let me calibrate my y-axis. So let's call this positive one. Let's see, yeah, positive one, positive two, and positive three. Okay, now um, with this drawn, if you're approaching two from the left, that's negative two from the left, and then from the right, you have negative two from the right. If you're approaching one from the left, from this area, this is one from the left, and then let me write that again so it's clear. <clears throat> the left side of this vertical line is one from the left, and then from the right side is one from the right. Okay, I think I have everything set up. Now let me go ahead and graph my horizontal asymptotes first. Now at the right end, we have um, the function approaching positive three. Okay, so that's positive three right here. I'm just gonna trace it down and then just graph it somewhere here at the right end. That was the horizontal asymptote. And then from, as X approaches negative infinity, this end right here, the function approaches this horizontal line, the horizontal line y equals 1. Okay, so we have those graphed down. Those are horizontal asymptotes. Now, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at how the function behaves along around these x values. So this negative 2x value that a function is that x is approaching has no sign. 
So what does that mean? It means that this is a double-sided limit. As the function approaches negative 2 on the left and right, the function approaches negative 1. Okay, as x approaches negative 2 from the left to right, the function approaches negative 1. So I'm going to use an open circle here because the limit means you're getting arbitrarily close. You're not at the point yet. Okay, so we can make an assumption that it's a closed circle. So when you get arbitrarily close to negative 2 from both sides, the function approaches one, negative 1. So I can just make an open circle here. And then I'll just draw a line, a little line, showing that from the left, it goes to towards negative 1. And then from the right, it goes towards negative 1. Think about this as a point. The point is negative 2, comma, negative 1. All right, so as you're approaching this point from both sides, you, you're approaching basically this point from both sides, okay? So this is the point negative 2, negative 1, and from the left and the right, you you are approaching exactly the same spot, okay? And then take a look at this right here. <clears throat> um, so we have this taken care of. Take a look at f of negative 2. f of negative 2 is 2. So that basically means that when x is negative 2, the function actually attains a value of 2. So we graph that point right there. Okay. Now, um, let's shift our attention to what's happening around, negative, around positive 1. When x is approaching positive 1 from the left, see this negative right here, power? The function tends towards infinity, so that automatically tells me that it goes really, really close here and just goes up forever. All right, so I'm just going to draw a piece of the function there. I'll connect it later on. And then from the right side, the function actually approaches a point. The point is 1, comma, negative 1. When, I, when you're coming from the right, you're going to 1, negative 1. So from the right, 1, negative 1 right here so we have to make it an open circle because it's a limit so you're approaching like this from the right you're approaching <clears throat> the function is approaching negative one okay so that's all we need to sketch our graph all right so let's go ahead and do it so i need to connect this piece with this asymptote so whichever way you want to do it i can just make it straight like this and then as i get close to my asymptote what do i do i just start going horizontally like that Remember the sketch, so it looks something like that. That's the right side now. Um, let's connect this region, region 2 right here, between um, negative 2 from the right and 1 from the left. So we can see that we have this point and then this asymptote, so we can just connect it like this from that point all the way to your horizontal, asy vertical asymptote, sorry, like that. And then here, we're going to connect this point to this horizontal asymptote, this left end horizontal asymptote. So it's not difficult. You just go really, really close. And then as you approach that value, you just tend to go horizontal. All right, you just approach that horizontal line. So this is a possible sketch of a function that meets all of these requirements. Okay, let's go ahead and do a real quick check. As x approaches negative infinity, the function approaches 1. See so this line y equals 1. That's a check. And then as x approaches 1 from the left, the function goes towards infinity. Approaching 1 from the left, what's the function doing? It's heading towards infinity. Good. And then as the function approaches 1 from the right, the function as x approaches the function as x approaches 1 from the right, sorry, the function approaches negative 1. So as you're approaching 1 from the right, the function is tending towards negative 1. That's good. f of negative 2 equals 2. That's a point. There's a close point, negative 2, comma 2. Negative 2, comma 2, we have this close point right here. Excellent. Now as x approaches infinity, the function tends towards 3. So as x approaches infinity, the right end, the function tends towards, let me make that look better. Um, as x approaches infinity, the function tends towards the horizontal line. Uh, 
x equals 3. This is a horizontal asymptote in the right direction. All right, put an arrow there. And then um, we have that for the check. And then lastly, as x approaches negative 2, from both sides, the function approaches uh, negative 1. So as x approaches negative 2 from both sides, we can see that this is the intended output. This is the output that a function is approaching. All right, so we have that. So this basically is a function, the graph, a sketch of the graph that um, these conditions uh, satisfy. All right, so that's that. All right, so you can click next to advance to the next uh, test question, or you can click on main test to get, gain access to the main menu where you can um, access all the practice test questions. Don't forget to subscribe for updates to other cool tutorials such as this.